Hello everyone. In this session we are going to discuss our unit 4 which is cascading style sheets which we also referred as a CSS. So this is the outline of this particular unit which consists of introduction to CSS, basics of CSS, background property, font and text property, mo box modeling, list, links, positions, layer, plotting and introduction to CSS3. So let's start with our first topic what is CSS. CSS uh, is nothing but a simple design language which is uh, intended to simplify the process of making web page presentable. CSS defines layouts of HTML documents for example CSS covers, fonts, colors, margins, lines, height, width and almost all the properties which required to design a web page. What is the importance of CSS? CSS defines how HTML elements are to be displayed. Styles are normally saved as external.css files. External style sheets enable you to change the appearance and layout of the pages in a website just by editing on a single web page. You are supposed to just change once and it will reflect all over the website if we are using external CSS. Advantages of CSS Improve, It improves the website presentation. External CSS makes update easier and smoother. External CSS helps web pages load faster because uh, CSS will be stored inside the cache memory and when we are refreshing or uh, we are revisiting that particular website that particular code of CSS won't be fetched from the internet it will be fetched from the cache memory itself so it would be faster disadvantages of the CSS browser dependent it is browser dependent so uh, the code you are writing may work in one browser but may not work on a another browser but we can have some tricks on that how to solve that problem and the second disadvantage is difficult to retrofit in old websites if you have existing website and you want to fit CSS into that it would be difficult and if you are uh, creating new website from the scratch it is very easy to implement CSS so these are these all are the advantages and disadvantages of the CSS next what is the basic syntax of CSS? How we can write our CSS? So, a CSS rule has mainly two parts, a selector and a declarations, one or more declarations. You can specify n number of declarations within that particular selector. Let's see what is selector and what is declaration then. For example, we want to color all the H1s inside our page or any tag which we uh, we are referring as a selector here there are many techniques for the selectors as of now we are using our first technique which is called element targeting we are targeting an element named h1 in this particular case and h1 is our selector then there can be one or more declarations what uh, is consist in the declaration let's see for example we have two declarations in declaration 1 we have color colon blue in which we refer color as a property of a CSS color is a property there are more than 300 properties of CSS uh, which we uh, cannot cover it all but we are going to cover many CSS properties and the color is one of them so a property will have its values and blue is the value for that color and we are separating them with colon so ultimately we are writing color colon blue is our first declaration same way we have second declaration and the property is font dash size and the value of that particular property is 12 pixel so now we have a selector h1 we have declaration 1 which says color should be blue and declaration 2 which says font size should be 12 pixel and 
declaration 1 and declaration 2 will be separated using semicolon so here is the uh, basic mistakes which students make that they are writing equal to over here property and value will be separated using colon and two declarations will be separated using semicolon okay the selector can be HTML element ID or class or combinations of all this we are going to cover the types of selection how we can target particular element in the letter sessions each declaration consists of a property and value as we have already discussed property is the style attribute you want to change each property has a value for example we are specifying color inside the color we cannot specify 12 pixel because it is not the value of that particular property we, there are properties and appropriate values to that property so let's see an example how we can specify properties to the selector in code so we have one uh, blank html uh, template inside we are writing our first tag h1 and i am specifying some content to that particular element h1 so as we already know how this will work a content inside the html will be bolder and bigger size so this is the output of this h1 but now if i want to provide a color to this particular text so either i can use a font tag over here like as we have uh, done in the previous videos we were specifying color like this and this is this was the conventional html way but as we al already know that uh, the font tag is deprecated in html file and we can no longer use this particular tag we need to use css instead so we need to target this h1 and as we already have seen in the ppt that how to use a selector i want h1 to be a selector so i am writing h1 and inside the curly bracket i am specifying some properties and its value so i am writing my first declaration which is color and i want that to be red so this was the syntax this is our selector h1 slash h1 so content inside the h1 will be colored red let's run the file and the content becomes red so what we have used we have targeted all the h1s in that particular page to be colored as a red so if i write second tag right that next text will also have color red because we have targeted all the h1s inside the page but if the second content is having h2 so the color won't apply to that particular text because we have only applied that color to the h1s so h1 is our selector and this is our first declaration if we want to provide more declarations we can use font dash size for example i want it to have 30 pixel in the size so what i am doing is i am writing my first declaration this is my second declaration and i am separating them using semicolon ready okay thank you